halftime here at Charlotte Catholic. Uh, A.L. Brown on top 14 to nothing, and their defense pretty stingy in the first half. We'll take a look at some, some numbers that will reflect perhaps this that scores. The team is just now returning to loosen up for the second half. There you see the yards rushing in Catholic. 34 yards on the ground, no completed passes. 34 yards of total offense. The Wonders dominating the passing game. And we said in the beginning that they were a better passing team than a year ago. That's a dimension that they didn't have as well. Annapolis has the one turnover. The turnovers are not reflected for Catholic because one was on a punt and it was a fumble. They would have been turning it over anyway. The other was a block punt that the Canapolis uh, team scored, uh, recovered in the end zone for a touchdown. But eight first downs to one. How about that? And the penalty is pretty much even. Yeah, we don't have the time over possession, but obviously Canapolis a very big advantage. Here's some of the highlights from the first half. And Canapolis, after getting that miscue on the fumble, dry, or the punt drives down the field. The fade pass to the corner of the end zone. Eford, a two-yard pass to Josh Gray, his 11th touchdown catch of the season. The point extra was good, and this made it 7-0 Canapolis in the first quarter. Second quarter came down. Canapolis tried for it and was denied on fourth and one. Then, Torrey Benjamin, number 11, blocks the punt. Cordera Simmons, number six, recovers in the end zone. Third block punt of the season for the Wonders, and that makes it 14-0 where we stand now.